Hey, and welcome back to Family Gamer TV. December's going to be a great month for Hobbit fans. Not only is the new film Desolation of Small going on screens from December the 13th, but LEGO have released four new sets. Let's have a look see what there is. First off, we've got set 79011, Dolgador Ambush. There's also set 79013, The Lake Town Chase. We've got set 79012, The Mirkwood Elf Army. And set 79014, Dolgador Battle. Today I'm just going to have a look at the first set, 79011, Dolgador Ambush. And then have a look at some of the other sets over the next few days. So let's have a look at the first set, 79011, the Dolgador Ambush. On the front I can see there's, we're going to be building a part of the ruins. We've got um, some minifigs, we've got Bjorn and a couple of Gundabad orcs. Spinning over onto the back, I can see there's a lot of action with the ruins. I can see some axes, axe mechanism, possibly a hammer mechanism. Slight movement to the ruins. Maybe there's something hidden away in there. Oh, over there, you can see there's a little flick missile. Um, I can also see on the bottom of the box um, that we can actually combine this set um, with set 79014, which is the biggest set in this range that's just been released. So it looks like it can make the ruins much bigger. Right, let's get the box open and see what's in there. We've got a big bag, a little bag, and one set of instructions. This is set 79011, Dolgador Ambush. It's set the forest ruins of Dolgador. The Gundabad orcs are lying in wait for Bjorn with their weapons and traps. It's got 217 pieces in this set. It's designed for ages 8 to 14. In the UK it costs £19.99, and in the US $19.99. It's released on 1st of December 2013 to coincide with the film which is coming out on December the 13th. It includes three minifigs with all sorted weapons, Bjorn and two Gundabad Orcs. It features a hidden flick missile, huge spikes and a swing hammer and axe traps. Also includes a firing catapult with wheels. Let's take you through some of the features of the set. I'll start with the minifigs. If we take this guy here, this is Bjorn. Um, at first it may look like he's got a big headdress on, but if we actually take his head off, we can actually see that hair and the head are actually one piece. It's not a separate head and hair piece, just all moulded as one. He's got really nice printing on his trousers and on his shirt and on the back. carrying a nice big axe. Have a look at one of the orcs. Um, they actually have hair pieces on so you can't see the printing on the back. If I take the hair piece off you've got printing on the back so they've got hair on the back of their heads as well. Really nice head, um, hair pieces and ears. One of the orcs, this guy, actually has some shoulder protection as well as well as his big knife or machete. The other orc is just the same, doesn't have the shoulder armour and has a mace. One of the other features of this set is this catapult. It's actually designed to be able to be held by a minifig. I'm sure you've all seen catapults before. This has got um, two two catapults on it so we can work them independently or together so we can actually fire or we can fire both lost one of the bits <laughs> there's some decoration of a couple of skulls and then we've got the ruins themselves I think these ruins are really um, really detailed I was expecting them to be based on a single piece baseboard but it's built from lots of separate individual pieces on the bottom got some nice detailing of this dead tree growing up through the ruins um, with the red leaves on them. Some nice big blades through the gate to try and um, get Bjorn as he goes through. A couple of the secrety features on this. Um, I'll spin it around. We've got two weapons that are going to try and attack through the door. First off we've got 
the double axes. And these are controlled by a lever on top, so if I turn there, they'll actually go to the door. And you can actually attack. And that will do quite some damage. And on the other side, we've got a big hammer. Do the same, and they go through the door as well. So um, we can spin this back around. We put Bjorn in there. And then attack. And the axe has got him. Not very nice. Yeah, other things to show on this. Um, as I said earlier on, this set on the box, it shows that you can connect this um, to the bigger set um, where you've got much more of the ruins. So this appears to actually fit to the end of that. There's a couple of pins on the end ready for, to connect to that. I'll show that in the later video when I review the bigger set. Over on this side, we've also got a secret little bit of wall that can open. So if we spin that around and open it, I can actually flick that one with my finger. Yeah, you fired it. So, and luckily, they give two in the pack, so you do get to spare. Put that one back in. Close that one up. So there we go, the dull gold or ambush. Really nice little set, good little entry model into the range. Really looking forward to seeing how the rest of the sets build and what features they contain. I'll be back here soon reviewing those sets, so remember to like and subscribe and you'll be informed when I do.